You know what I mean? The R and B. Mm. Like when they sing, they 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 love or they hurt from love or trying to find love or want to be a better woman. If they rap, they trying to fuck with most niggas without having any emotional attachment or get whatever they can out of nigga. It's like it it, it shows that, and that's what it make it makes. Um, Cause you look at it right, singing. I'm finna get deep with y'all. I right, look at it. Think- Singing versus rapping. Rapping is viewed, I don't care who does it, as the ghetto side of the music neighborhood. And singing is like middle and upper class. Right? Okay. And even if it's a girl who sing with the rapper, at some point, either you're going to stay down there in the ghetto or you're going to transition and come over here to the middle class, upper class. You know what I mean? And, and and do it more glamorous and bigger. And don't sing about the ratchetness. You get what I mean? So when I look at it, it's a it's a I think it's like a it's like a it's the same thing on the male side, right? Back mm-hmm. in the day you told the girl to sing, she automatically think you're a romantic. You tell her you rap, this That's nigga's true. a game danger. That's so you know, true. You say you, say you rap, you like, oh this nigga game danger or don't damn that up. It, 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 it's a, I don't know why that is. It's like rap is ghetto, singing is upper and middle class. But you, know, you, but you actually write though because class. when you are a writer and you're writing, you should be able to, if, if a person can write lyrics, like you said, sing or whatever, you can't transition. Like you see, even on this song, she, her, her singing is sped up to to where it's more like a flow. So you definitely yeah. could be a rapper and just rap about different shit. And that's what I'm saying. Like it is female rappers that does, but they don't get the light. And because they don't get the light, major stu- major labels won't let you put them on there. They'd be like, well, we gonna take her off and put Cardi B on there. You know what I mean? Yes. So sometimes it's not even up to the artist because they do want to work with other talents, but if that other talent is not big enough, the major label won't let it happen. But they also the same people keeping them other artists from being big enough. You get what I mean? All facts. So from, from my take, I think Taylor Swift is cool. From what I heard, I don't know why, I don't know why Jay-Z and uh, Kanye love hating on her. I guess she always um, did Beyonce. No, Jay Z ain't never hate on her. I thought he did. Uh, who just won at these last awards? So, so okay. I don't think that was hate, but they. It, it the was not hate, hate for one because she won the award after the fact. He was talk just talking about, and Beyonce only lost to Taylor in that category one time. One time, all her losses out of all them, Taylor was only one so, time and they was up against question. her. You think a lot of some people don't like Taylor just off the simple fact they like Beyonce? Because you got like some Prince fans that just don't fuck with Michael because I like Prince. And you got yeah. some Michael fans like, like my reason for not fucking with Prince got nothing to do with Michael. Once I saw him on the Batman video, his ass cheeks out, I was done. I was done. Yeah, you know I mean? it's it's definitely to in today's world, it's like you can only like one person. Like how you got people that like Nikki, people that like Car- like I like them both. I was like, like, why do you have to decide that you like this one person? So whoever their competition is, you just don't like them. Which it shouldn't even be competition. Everybody in their own lane doing their own thing. Everybody can get money. It don't make you sense. Think that's, you think that's that way of showing how they're a tr- true fan? I don't know. Like, I, know. I, I, can, I can see, but it's different, though, right? They competition, but they not ops, right? I can right. see they were real ops. Like, Pac and Biggie was ops at the time, so I'm like, all right. You know right. what I mean? But they not ops. They competition. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I listen to this competition, so I can see if you be like if they really had a beef. Like I can understand some of the Carly and Nikki fans. You know, right. what I mean? they don't like each other, 
So right. if you vibing on Carly, you ain't gonna like Nikki for the same reason. I ain't fucking with her. You get right. what I mean? Right. But, but for somebody they're not actually beefing with, I don't see. And they act, why and they, they friends. Hold. They friends. Yeah. So I don't know why they hold that disdain for her. Is they mad because is she bigger? Is she bigger than Beyonce? Like record sales rise? Yes. So. I would I would say it's like this. Taylor is Michael, Beyonce is Prince. Okay. They both iconic. They both legends. They both, but Michael is just more worldly renowned than Prince. I would say. All right, let's see. I'm looking up the, the stats. Y'all, this is us. This is what happened when you smoke. You just be talking. This was supposed to be a re just a reaction video of Endgame from Taylor Swift, and then we get all up into all type of stuff. This is what happens when you get a little elevated because your brain start just thinking, talking, running. You know, that's what it's about. Just getting a little elevated, a little elevated. Okay. So she really got seven albums, but they counted as ten. Three of those was re-recorded and re-released. Correct. Beyonce been performing longer, but and she got seven albums. Uh, however, she did release five albums. Oh, they she got seven albums plus the five. Don't knock those five with Destiny Child. Goddamn, that's twelve goddamn albums. But best selling out, Shift House sold a total of 75 million and a lot more numbers. With her most popular album, 1989, which sold 14.7 million. Yeah. Beyonce only sold 42 million, with her most uh, uh, popular album being Sasha Fierce, which sold 9.6 million. Oh. I almost said only sold, but nigga, that's 9.6 million. Y'all, right. Fuck. Right. You know? If you include Destiny Child album sales of another 29 million, then Beyonce barely, let me see, let me see, 40, 50, 60, 71. No, no, that still don't, no, no, I don't, let me make sure I got my ride by 11, 12, 5, 6, 7. Even if you add the um, Destiny Child 29 million album sold, she, she still don't got more albums than Taylor Swift. Taylor mm -hmm. Swift that's 75 million. So yeah. Uh Beyonce so if it's far away on, on top with I right, now Beyonce got more followers on Instagram, but on Twitter, uh uh Swift is killing her, and on Facebook, she's killing her, and on TikTok. So overall, what I what I depict is this: Beyonce is a lot of women hero, uh -huh. but Taylor Swift is still that bitch, and I mean it. Not it. I mean it. I like, got it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in their world, there's no way you could tell them. That Taylor Swift is bigger than Beyonce. It's like the Biggie and Tupac thing, right? If you right. actually go to New York, Biggie thing, there's no way. But if you actually travel the world, you like, no, bro. They know pop. Tupac. They know English, nigga. You know right. what I mean? Oh, right. oh Tupac, what time? You know what I mean? I said, so I, 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 I see what's going on here, right? And then you have people hating that she's so much bigger bigger because they really know she is. Yeah. Like you have, you have people hating on Pop being bigger because they know he is bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so, but it's just the reality of the fan the 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 fan base and the music. And I, I would say this, right? Because I love both. And of course don't need to compare. But I feel like Taylor approached stardom differently. Like Beyonce is very, like you put her up and she in a glass shelf, like she's not very touchable. 
She, you know, she, I, I was Taylor Swift out there kicking it. Taylor Swift engaged with her fans so much that that's what that's why I think fans, especially younger girls, teenagers, high school, whatever, gravitates to her because she's she seems very reachable. And and yeah. Well, yeah, here goes my thing, right? And I had that experience. I always told you this when they came and shot that movie in Social Circle. And she had all these girls for days on days waiting just to see her. And she finally, because she had to, walk mm -hmm. through there and, and, you know what I mean, and socialize. Now, I told you, to, now my nigga right here, I told you, to, and th I'm only showing this because I don't want people to say, Taylor Swift is bigger because she's white, right? Right. And this is why I'm finna show you this. Taylor Swift's biggest album was 14 million. Uh -huh. This guy I'm finna show you sold 70 million of one album. And when he did it, he was black on the cover. You know what I mean? I think we all know who that is. Mr. Michael Jackson Thriller. You know what I mean? Now, it was a lot of white people out at the time singing that was hits. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So almost every like, oh, that's no. Now, Dang, he sold 70 book. on one album? To date, Se Thriller has sold 70 million copies worldwide. It's certified 34 platinums by the RIAA before stop counting. It remains the best album of all time, having sold over 70 million copies. Wow. And that's why I be telling people when they that's be like, amazing. oh, he can Michael, he can Michael. Bro, you don't understand who the fuck Michael Jackson is. And, and somebody was like, somebody was like, R. Kelly can, can battle Mike. I said, bro. Never. So let me tell you, so let me get this. You gonna put these two niggas on the stage. R. Kelly go stand, stand there and sing his son, and Michael finna give you a whole motherfucking show. And you think he gonna win? My grandma like Michael, my mama like Michael, Everybody. I like Michael, and my kid like Michael. Michael Michael been rocking for generations. He got a son for any generation you want. What you want? I'm gonna, get, true. I'm gonna get somebody a memory. So, you know, that's why I be laughing when they be trying, because you would think with all these ways to sell music. Most of these 70 million is, is hard copies. Right, because we ain't had none of this back then. You know what I mean? I mean, he probably got another, what, maybe another 10 million in the digital world? Maybe another 20? So that's still 50 million physicals? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Bro, Chris Brown ain't fucking with that. I'm going to be honest. Nobody's fucking with that, bro. Nah. Nobody is going to pull that many people together. And with the way the world has changed, it would never be another him. Yeah, because at the time, you got to understand, this is why they call him the king of the pop. Because at the time, if you listen to the Off the Wall album, heavy R&B uh, influence. When Thriller hit, they didn't know where to put that shit. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck do we put that? It ain't country. It ain't rhythm and blues. It ain't so. This shit just popular. You know what I mean? That's when pop. That's why he the king of pop. That's when pop got pop came. See, they fucked it up by you know they called it pop and everybody think no popular just mean it's popular. popular. It don't really fit nowhere, but it's popular amongst different gender graphics. Yeah, it it has is it has transcended though, and it has shaped into an actual genre. Because of that, so I would I would say what used to sell records like the mystique of the artist, like Beyonce, hinders artists in today's time. Yep. <laughs> I like to smoke weed. I'm living in the sky. I like to blow trees. I like smoking the zy.